Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. Um, so here on Boho Jewel, we talk all things creative and crafty. And also I'm an artist with ADHD. So last year I was officially diagnosed um, and I had done a couple of videos <clears throat> talking about the diagnosis and about how having ADHD related to being a creative <laughs> because we often tend to be neurodivergent, right? And that's great. It kind of helps with some of the creativity sometimes. That's not to say you have to be neurodivergent to be an artist. Yeah, that's a whole other video. But um, I did want to kind of offer a little bit of an update because last year I took everyone through kind of my process of how I was going to get organized and the beginnings of my organization. And I kind of wanted to just give you an update of how that's been working out for me and what is working, what I adjusted and how I changed things and where we're at with it now. So here we go. All right. So last year when I made the video, I was showing you guys how I was planning to organize my downstairs space, which is really where I do most of my work. And I will link those other two videos so that if you want all the details of like where all my shipping things are and all that stuff, then you can take a look back at that, but I won't repeat everything here and make everybody super bored. So, um, I'm at my table now and I'm going to show you where it's at and I'm going to show you these cabinets back here that I ordered as well. And I got these, that's my kid's stuff. <laughs> I got these because I realized that I really struggle, like I, I was trying to create clean lines in my space as much as possible, living in an apartment style situation where my child and I are both very creative people. So there are art supplies everywhere. Plus we have life here. Plus we're doing homeschooling here. Um, I wanted to be able to create some clean lines. And so that's why I got these cabinets. I'll flip it around in a minute. Um, but this has been working for me. And so I wanted to share because I think it can definitely help other creatives out there with ADHD. So here is my table. This is a dining room table that we've had for 10 years. You can see that, um, we don't often eat here anymore, <laughs> like hardly ever. And it has become a very loved art table. And I'm very emotionally attached to this table. So even one day when we're in a house and we have a new dining room table, probably keeping this one. So my planner right here, my planner is always out. Ignore the makeup brushes that I forgot to put away. <laughs> so there's my planner. My planner is always on the table. I need to reference to it. Otherwise things are not going to happen. But you see this big, lovely, empty space, and this is waiting for me to get to work. Now, over here, ignore the candles too, they've become static clutter. <laughs> um, but here we have piles of things, but these piles actually make sense. So this is all stuff that I'm actually currently working on, okay? Um, this probably could be somewhere else, but it's okay because I know that I'm doing this and then I'm working on these and then I'm coming back to this because I wrote that in that. Right. So this is all stuff that I'm working on for my Patreon. So this has been my hyper focus over the last like week or so is trying to figure out Patreon, come up with some cute gift things to give to patrons. And these are all supplies that go along with that. What was that? Oh, yeah, a little, this was sort of an impulse purchase at Jerry's Artorama last week. Well, yeah, anyway. Um, so these are all supplies that go along with that. So this is what I know that I'm working on. Um, and then these, if you have been following me for a bit. Oh, hello, friends. Okay, well, I was kind of wondering where those were. Um, if you, wow. All right, so if you've been following me, these are my Artemat art blocks that I have been working on. Um, I, I didn't really forget about these. I kind of forgot about them, but also in the summertime, my work schedule during the summer, like I, I couldn't, I actually wasn't able to do anything creative over the summer for my personal self, but, um, because I was leading up summer camps, it was stressful, but it was good. I mean, it was good for the kids, but I had to put all of this on hold for a few months, but that's why these are out here now because they were in that bin, which I'll get to in a second. 
And so I've got them here. These are the finished ones, but I need to gesso. So that's why I bought gesso last weekend and that's over here. Oh, sorry. So everything is actually very organized and this has been working really well for me because if you do remember the video from last year, almost a year ago, or if you go back and watch it, you'll see where it was like, I just had piles and piles and piles and piles of things that were not getting finished. And yeah, and it was just, it became overwhelming. So even though someone else might walk in and say, oh, you've just got all this stuff, but but I know where I'm going with it. And I think that's super important because, you know, all of the ideas, all of the creativity, that's amazing, that's awesome. But if you never get anything finished, that doesn't feel good and it feels chaotic. And so this system has actually helped me a lot. So this is what I'm working on. So when the day is done, when the weekend gets here, I have a clear space. I don't have to move a bunch of things. I can just say, this is what I'm working on. Oh yeah, let me get some Patreon things done. When the Patreon things are done, I'm just sewing my blocks. While that's drying, I can finish up the jewelry pieces, right? Um, so let me show you what I've been doing with these cabinets and why I got these cabinets. So, um, okay, so I wanted this to be very organized, clean lines when I look across so that it's not so much stuff because the clutter, like looking at the clutter, it's overwhelming to me. It drives me bananas. So you're going to get a sneak peek at our snack stash too. So because we live in a townhome, tiny kitchen, like, yeah, no cabinet space. So we do have some snacks that live up here. Okay. That was part of the plan. And then I have right here, this is all organized and it works for my brain. This is all like adhesives, varnishes, mediums, my cat sneaking up on me, paint things. My glue gun is in here because I consider it an adhesive my ring that broke last week that I, I can't let go of. Um, and then embroidery things because I don't have a lot of embroidery things. Um, this was something that I got really obsessed with for a minute. And, um, and then I found it months later under a huge pile of stuff. Has that ever happened to you? I was like, oh yeah, the embroidery that I was really, really into that I forgot all about that I spent like, I don't even know how much money on. Then we have the next little cabinet and this is all of my clay stuff. Um, and then this is papers that are like any type of paper that is new. Um, and then this is all stuff that I've already worked on. These are like notebooks, a couple of reference books, a couple of drawing reference books, like how-to books, portfolios, etc. And then this is um, my my art markers, my Artfinity alcohol markers, and then some spray paint that we bought for a project that my child used. So that's stuff that I don't usually have around, um, but it lives there now and it's it doesn't have other stuff being piled on top of it and it's not piled on top of stuff. So let's go to the other cab. So here we have sewing things. <laughs> this is fun too. Okay. Um, okay. So this is a bag of thread that I got from Reconsidered Goods here in Greensboro, which is an awesome, amazing place. And also some fabric things that I got because I have a plan for these but I legitimately have not had the time to get to it. These I bought, oh gosh, let's be honest here. I really think like two years ago, potentially longer. Man, I don't even know. But you can see they're already cut. Most of them are cut and they're already ironed and ready to sew. Um, again, it was kind of a time factor but also this was all hidden somewhere before. Um, these are all my scrap papers. These are papers that I created, um, scrapbook papers that I use for like collaging and things. And then this is, this is my office. These are office, oh, sorry. These are all office supplies. And also side note, how stinking cute is that? Just something to brighten your day. All right, so, um, and then this right here, love this. 
shout out to Rafi and Klee. I'll link them below. They are amazing. All right. And so then I have, um, this is all homeschool. Okay. So this, this currently is the homeschool cabinet and it just has to be that way until my kid is potentially no longer homeschool. All right, so the great thing about these cabinets that I am appreciating is that you'll notice too, let me just, I'm making you dizzy turning around. Like I can look at this and say, I have fabric. So I'm not going to the store and saying, oh, you know what? I haven't sewn anything in a while. Let me buy some fabric. And then it ends up piled up somewhere. This reminds me, like this is the space that I have for this, right? So if this space starts getting full, I need to stop. I mean, for me, that's been working, right? So I don't have to be like, yeah, so that there's not piles and piles of stuff everywhere, even with the embroidery. I know that I have embroidery things in here um, and I can see them. I can open the cabinet, see it clearly. And that's a big thing for me too, So when I open the cabinet and I see this is what I have in here and this is what I have space for and I actually have the supplies, um, I'm not buying a bunch more, right? So I can easily go in here and say, do I really, what do I need? I need maybe more fabric. I need to finish that first, right? I have plenty of thread and, you know, here is what I have space for. So if you're ADHD, you know the struggle of like buying repeated things that you don't need. <laughs> like that was one of my first signals to myself that I probably had ADHD. So um, this is a good example. So like I use the Loctite glue for jewelry making. I run out often, but that way I, I know this is here. I can see it clearly. I don't necessarily have to shove a ton of stuff around. So I'm not like buying and buying and buying every time I go to the store because I can't remember if I have any or not. I'm also not buying several molding pastes or several gels, right? Like I, I can see everything, everything has a space. So I also have a lot of other supplies. That has not changed much as far as the organization of where those things have gone. Um, I still have the same cabinets that I've been using. Let me flip you around again, make you dizzy. <laughs> So these are the cabinet or the little drawers that I showed last time. They have all my art supplies in them. Everything is in a separate drawer. Um, acrylics, gouache, watercolor, all in separate drawers. Um, over here I have pens and things, right? And, and then I have, like these are all finished things that I have not photographed yet. So they're not listed on my website, on any of my sites, okay? So that is helpful to me because I don't really love photographing, but this way, I think I have some earrings in here too. This way, I know they're here and they're finished. They just need to be listed. They need to be photographed and listed, right? They're not somewhere else and I'm confused and I have to have that or I will double check and triple check and quadruple check to see and that's a waste of time. These are all things that are unfinished. Also some, this should not be here. <laughs> Let's just put that away somewhere. <laughs> um, my scale, these are all in my Artemat blocks right now. So these are things that need to be finished and worked on. This really shouldn't be here either. This has become static clutter. This is all of my fair trade stuff that I want to get listed on my website. It needs to be photographed on top of my printer. Um, and I just legitimately have not had time to do it. So um, I think the main thing, right? I think keeping the clear space, I think having it organized has been a lifesaver. I have actually, like I have a whole bin of finished things, right? And I know it's listed. I have everything sorted through. And so I can touch it once and move on. I can take the photograph, list it, get it upstairs, and it's done when I have time to do those things. Um, and I'm also, I don't have piles and piles of unfinished things, which is nice. Like, it's just kind of a relief to have that. 
Um, so I think that definitely works. But I think the main thing is like as, as far as organizing the drawers and things, it doesn't have to make sense to anybody but you, right? Other people might organize their drawers completely differently. They might put the brushes with the paints or, or even in different order. But for me, tell me if this is true for you, your ADHD brain, when I, the first place that I put it is where I'm going to think it is always. And if I rearrange it, I'm still always going to look for it in that first place that I put it. Does that make sense? Like, <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Because if I rearrange to a way that makes more sense, I'm going to end up opening up the wrong drawer every time first, right? So let me just, yeah. So let's see, who do we have up here? We have, right, so I have my artist trading cards, these pens, this stuff. It's random, but I promise you if I tried to reorganize it and say, put my, like, okay, yeah. So let's say I put my artist trading cards in with my papers. I promise you every time I went to look for them to do them, I would be like, oh, shoot, that's right. I forgot. I moved them over there because it made more sense. Every single time. I promise you I would. <laughs> so if it makes sense to you and, and you're like, I'm opening this drawer on the first try and that's where it is, then that's where you put it. It's they're your art supplies, they're yours, right? Like, I don't know people who share art supplies. <laughs> like, it's not a thing, is it? <laughs> like, you don't do that, right? So as long as it works for you and as long as you are doing the things you want to be doing and you are happily and contentedly creating, don't let anybody tell you your organizational system is wrong. But I hope that's helpful. I hope you guys can apply some of that if you've been struggling a little bit with organization. And again, like I found random things even doing this video. So don't be too hard on yourself. It's not a big, huge deal. The world's not going to end because I had my little bucket of gems over here or because I found nail polishes on the table. Like it is fine. Things are still getting done way better than it was before. So if you guys have some organizational tips or tricks or whatever, and you have ADHD, let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for new ideas, <laughs> right? And new suggestions. So I hope it was helpful. Stay tuned for more updates on lots of things. I have some cool tutorials coming up very quickly as soon as some things arrive in the mail and I will see you guys soon. Have a great day. Go create something amazing.